This is the Blorpunk CS-84-46 VTM. In this video, I'm gonna show you through it and show you why I like it so much. A big TV at 80 centimeters. Let's take a closer look at it. There's a couple of pieces of felt that cover the speaker grills that have started to come out when we CRT enthusiasts in the future open our big CRT manufacturing center up, we might avoid using felt for the long-term sake of our TVs. We want to build them with maximum longevity. You can see the grill there. I could probably poke that back in. There's our blue point badge on the front, proudly shining, power button, volume up and down channel up and down, there's a hatch that reveals a set of inputs, composite video, left and right stereo audio via RCA, and a headphone jack. There is a cutout that is unused that would have most likely had an S video if it was applied to this model. Nice dark CRT, there's the sides, or A side, which is the same as the other side, the grill up here to let the heat out, the labels, the connections, and the other side of the unit. Check out the two tiered stand, metal construction. These two pillars here, I think are plastic coated metal. It's strong enough for sure. Unfortunately, it's rusted out in several spots surface rust it was stored under a house and unfortunately that's what's happened to it that would normally annoy me but i don't believe the stand is the matching stand for the blue point television it's certainly got a fairly good footprint for the job but the pillars here just don't match. See the round lip edge fitting? That does not match the bottom of the TV at all. Add to the fact that there's no badging, there's no brand name, there's no sticker, there's no model number, there's no indicator. I really don't think it's a matching stand for the Blue Point, the Blue Punk. So it's no big loss. Does the job well enough but not the correct one, in my opinion. Here's a top-down view of the television off the stand. Blorpunk Type CS84-46 VTM, that is the model number, accepts between 220 and 240 volts, made in Austria, quality. Chassis number FM552.70, little satellite sticker there, and RS500. This mob here, Sal Electronics in Paran. Masters of German technology. These guys would have had a lot of quality CRTs come through their hands in the years. The glory days, the golden days of years past. Let's take a moment to concentrate a bit more on this chassis number. If you look that up on Google, you may not have much luck finding the service manual for that chassis number. There's something you need to know, and that is that the three brands, Blorpunk, Grundig and Siemens are essentially, at the time, all the same with their CRT televisions. There's a cross-reference chart that's in the description below. There's a link to it. And that lists the Siemens, the Grundig and the Blorpunk chassis and the equivalents if they exist. For example, the equivalent Grundig chassis for this particular chassis here is the CUC6480. Grundig's more prevalent, you may have better luck finding the service manual for the Grundig model and then applying that to the chassis inside this. There's not an overabundance of connectors on the back. Firstly, we have the power socket there, the two pin figure eight power cable that does detach, I like that. Nothing worse than carrying a big TV around with your mate and you've got a power cord dangling around your feet that you're near tripping over. Grundig and Blorpunk both have removable power cords. Do like that big tick. Two SCART sockets, AV1, 
AV2 labeled video recorder AV2 and that one says something about decoder it might be receiver decoder for AV1 the RF socket there is actually a cutout there for the satellite and there are some labels here for left and right audio a dome I might be speaker terminals and then audio out there so pretty bare pretty basic on the back there must have been some models that took advantage of that those spaces anyhow what we need to determine is whether which one takes RGB whether it's both whether one takes S video or not we need to test the television to find out I've got a bad habit when I get a new television I'll pack it away and I'll put the remote in a box but not label the remote as to which specific model of say Bloorpunk that it belongs to then five years later when I finally dig the TV out to make a video of it I don't know which one is the correct matching remote and we have that case here both these remotes work I'm using the little one because it's in better condition and it seems to be more responsive the little Bloorpunk remote is the TC192 and the remote on the right is the TC404 I believe the 404 has been rubbed out a bit so I'm not sure if the last digit is absolutely correct for the back sides you can see what they look like now both use 9 volts come on hatch get off Toshiba, we like Toshiba's inside things, Toshiba tubes for example. There's the other one, as if that was going to be a big mystery. The back is off, no surprises over here. What have we got, Philips, A80, EFF, made in Germany. Made in the Germany, big tube. Another sticker over there. Bit of dust on the inside. Here's the innards. Very typical of the Grundig Siemens Ballorpunk chassis. They use a lot of flat cabling. This one's looking like a bird's nest quite a bit. It may have been open there was a screw missing pretty messy the way the cables are all strewn around looks like they need a few more ties or guides or they mightn't have been put back into their guides also typical is a number of boards vertically inserted into the chassis not a massive chassis by any means it does the magic however and that's what we like a couple of speakers down the bottom there there through testing the television I've discovered that SCAR 1 accepts RGB SCAR 2 also accepts RGB SCAR 2 can accept S video it's either RGB or S video you get to choose that to do that go up to special functions AV settings then on AV2 push across and select S video that's all there is to it funnily enough AV3 also has an option for S video if you remember when I showed the front of the television there was a set of inputs but the S video socket was blank so you can't take advantage of that unless maybe you soldered in an S video socket into the front pity that it doesn't come equipped with one this is how to get into the service mode of this Bloorpunk television and this will probably work on many other Bloorpunk televisions from the same era. Firstly press I for information, then press P to get into this menu system, press up to go to special functions, press P to enter, then scroll down to the bottom to service now you're ready to type in the number you type the numbers in directly from the remote you're using 
and the code for Blorpunk is 3200-3200-00. Then you're in. We have the white balance and we have the geometry which might be most useful for us. And that's how you do it. Remember the code, 3200. Just press I to terminate and you're back into your regular menu. The Grundig service code's 8500, the Blorpunk's 3200. Let's have a look at this interesting game. Gameplay gun. Players one or two. Hmm. 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 Look at this. Dual wielding gun game. It is set to two players, but why not play at one player with two guns? Oh yeah, that one's more accurate. Well, we know the television's not producing 100 hertz or anything like that. Gun compatibility is assured. Oh, I must say, after finally getting the satin into RGB, I had to change cables. I had to go into the shed and have a good search through for an old SCART cable for the satin. And when I plugged this one into the satin and into the TV and turned it on, we were straight into RGB, no doubts at all. And I must say, I'm very pleased to be back home, in a sense, back to a display that plays in RGB and it looks really good. Feels like I'm back in the arcade, in fact. Playing the three wonders here on the Saturn. Yeah, I've just reminded myself why I like this brand so much, why I like these old German TVs. You can say all you want about the Sonys, but you can't underestimate this stuff here either. Big thumbs up. Big thumbs up to this TV. To the Blorpunk. Definitely pick it up. Pick them up if you see them around. Don't leave. Don't let these ones go into hard waste. I've been playing with little 9-inch monitors in Composite and S-Video, but to be back in RGBs is wonderful. Highly recommend this set. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. More to come. Please share, subscribe and like the video.